So today I'm going to be talking about the brushes that I bought while I was in Japan. I actually attended the brush festival again this year and I also went to some um, stores while I was there so I'm going to be uh, talking about that. I wasn't actually planning on making a video for this, I was just planning on making a blog but when I posted a picture on my Instagram page and I asked if you guys wanted to see me um, talk about it and some of you said yes, well my closest friend said yes. That's why I'm here now. I actually went to Japan again this year for the brush festival but um, I arrived a week before it so I went to Kyoto first and I spent a good three days there just to relax because I've been working up until the day before I left so it was just enough for me to get into the rhythm of you know relaxing and getting on a vacation mode. Uh, the main reason why I was in Kyoto is because I wanted to visit the Hakuhodo flagship store and that's just what I did on my first day. So these are the brushes that I bought at the Hakuhodo flagship store. Now I have to say that it was quite difficult to find the store because in, when I encoded the name on Google Maps it didn't show up. But um, if you go to the main website of Hakuhodo there, there is actually a map there which you can download and you can actually find your way to the Hakuhodo flagship store in Kyoto. Now, um, as for the brushes, I bought a G553 brush. I bought two of these. Um, this is actually a combination of goat hair and synthetic fiber. So this is good to use for um, liquid foundations or cream foundations or even concealers. And I've used this actually for cream blushes. And um, it's very interesting because it's actually very easy to blend the product and to apply, especially at the inner corners or like uh, around the nose or if I want to um, layer on product at a specific uh, part of the face. So this is a very, very effective product and I like it because it's so small and it's so compact. Very easy to handle. I'm glad I bought two of these. Now I also bought a J4006 brush. Now um, this is actually a fan brush used for applying mascara. So there are actually two uh, different types of hair length on the brush head and I think this is very effective to use when I am um, applying mascara. So from the base you just wiggle it out and the longer brush bristles can actually you know help separate the lashes as you go along. So I also bought, bought two of these. If you saw my brush haul and my Fudematsuri video from last year, you could see that I bought some traditional makeup brushes while I was at the um, head office of Hakuhodo. Now, I also bought this um, at the Kyoto flagship store. This is a large Yachio brush. Now, um, the ones that I bought last year were um, tapered Yachio brushes and I actually prefer this brush because it helps me pick up the correct amount of pigment. I use this specifically for blushes or for bronzers because it's fluffier so I, I don't pick up a ton of product so it helps me to layer on the color properly. I also bought an Itabake. This is a uh, number 60. I have a similar one. Um, I think I also talked about it from my previous um, brush festival and um, brush haul video and um, unfortunately one of the thread that was holding the um, hairs together got cut so I needed to buy a new one and I had to retire the other one. Now this is actually made of synthetic fiber so I use this when I need to apply liquid highlighters or foundation or whatever that I need to apply at a much more bigger um, area of the body so um, this is very very easy to use and very very effective. The Kyoto flagship store of Hakuhodo is actually located um, near, I think it, it's quite an artisanal area. Like um, there were two stores right beside it that were actually catered to brushes. And you know, but it was more about calligraphy brushes or brushes for painting or even like for um, cleaning temples. Um, while I was making my way to the Nishiki market, for lunch, I bumped into a store that sold these two brushes. Um, this is actually made of horse hair. Um, this is what artisans actually use to stencil in the dye into the kimonos. So what they would do is that they would load the brush with color and then they'd put the stencil on top of the silk for the kimono and they just start dabbing the brush or you know rubbing it in to create the color gradation that they want. 
Now, I won't be using this for makeup, but I just wanted to have it because I've seen it a number of times um, when kimonos are being made. So I just have to add this to my collection. So having spent a few days in Kyoto, I was able to experience many things. I went to a sento, a public bath, and um, it was my first time to experience a Japanese communal bath. Um, I really liked it a lot. Lots of health and beauty benefits. I talked about it in a blog, so if you're interested, I'm going to put a link down below um, for you to check it out. And one other thing that I did while I was in Kyoto is I went to the Manga Museum. I'm a huge manga fan. And when I was there, there were actually two artists who um, will turn you into a manga. So um, this is one example. It's so cute. Um, sorry, there's a glare. But as you can see, I'm, he I'm seen here holding my Hakuhodo Yachio brush. And there's also one of me holding my Yachio, uh, my uh, Hakuhodo Itabake 60 brush. Isn't it so lovely? Oh, it's so cute. I headed to Hiroshima a few days uh, before the brush festival actually. I arrived in Osaka on a Monday and then I went straight to Kyoto from the airport and I made my way to Hiroshima on a Thursday because that Friday morning um, I actually had a, a schedule at Koyudo for a brush making um, activity. Now, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen some of my posts about me creating my own makeup brush. And um, this is actually what I made in Koyudo. So this is made of dyed goat hair. And if you can, I don't know if you can see it, my name in Japanese is actually engraved into the um, brush handle. So isn't this cute? So on the description box below, I'm gonna put a link to the blog that I wrote about my brush making experience at Koyudo. After my brush making um, activity in Koyudo, I also bought some brushes from their store. Now this is a C019 brush. Now um, this actually is, it reminds me of a stippling brush. Now, I haven't used it yet because I just washed it. This is made of, you know, a combination of goat hair and synthetic fiber. So you can use this for liquid uh, foundations or for cream highlights or cream foundations and liquid highlights, whatever that you want. And you can just, you know, if you, you can even use it for blending. So I haven't used this yet. So I'm gonna let you guys know in the future how this worked and how this handles. So in Koyudo, I was also able to buy these two brushes. Now, um, this was actually from the outlet display. So what I mean by outlet is that it's sold at a much more cheaper price, mainly because it might have had a factory defect or I'm sure it's very, very minor because in, when I'm seeing it now, it's actually, you can't really, really see it. So, um, but when I went to the Kuyuru website, I couldn't find the specifics for these brushes. And I don't know if this is made from dyed goat hair or is this made from squirrel hair, but um, I just had to have it because um, this year, while I was planning to visit the brush festival, I wanted to buy eyeshadow brushes. Uh, more than anything else. So um, I got this at a really, really, really cheap price. As you can see, this um, brush with a blue handle, it's a domed shape brush, so this is great for blending eyeshadow. And then this white brush, it's actually more tapered and it's actually quite, um, not sharp, how could I describe it? But it's much more pointed at the very end and you can use this in you when you want to create you know a, a crease or if you want to blend the crease i'm looking forward to using this as well now one other thing that i bought in kuyudo are these small keychains made of colored goat hair um, they come in blues pinks and greens and it's a nice trinket to give away to friends aside from kuyudo i went to the brush manufacturer named mizuho um, because I wanted to check out the brush line that they have, which is called Shakuda. It's amazing. It's actually made of like walnut handles and then the ferrule is connected straight to the handle. Um, I'm going to try to see if I could post like a picture of it or if I could link it, if I could link you guys down to an Instagram post of mine of those said brushes. But uh, while I was there, I also purchased another eyeshadow brush. And uh, this is actually, again, similar to the Koyudo one. 
wherein it's actually tapered and it's a little bit pointed at the top. And um, again, I can use this for blending all over the eyelid. Perfect for blending. One other thing that I bought in Mizuho is this uh, multi-shadow brush. So you can actually use it to line the uh, upper lash line or the lower lash line. Or if you want to create details into the crease of the eye, you can also use this. This is made of uh, pony. And this brush is made of gray squirrel and pony combination. This one is quite soft and this one is quite compact actually. And one other thing that I bought in, in Mizuho is this um, lash comb. It's quite effective in separating um, the eyelashes when you apply the mascara actually. So this is very, very, very good to use as well. After I visited uh, the Mizuho shop, um, I actually went to the brush museum. I bought this at the brush shop. So um, it's actually a nice bag and you can see it's like a series of brushes. It's for painting, for makeup, for whatever is needed there. So isn't it so cute? The thing is, I didn't actually plan to visit the Brush Museum this year, but um, it was raining so hard when I went to Koyudo and to Mizuho that I just needed solace from the rain. So I went there and I just checked it out. The main reason why I wanted to go to the Brush Festival this year is because I wanted to partake in all of the festivities of the festival. Like for example, there is actually a celebration on the eve of the Brush Festival. Now. Um, Unfortunately, when I got there, there was a huge storm and it was, it was raining so hard. And um, at the back of my mind, when I woke up that day, I was saying to myself like, oh, should I go to the Eve celebrations for the Brush Festival? And I go like, oh, maybe I should. Because um, when I woke up that morning, it wasn't raining hard at all. So by mid-afternoon, when I started making my way to the temple, it started to rain so hard. So, um... So thinking about it now, I was like really kind of stupid of me like to go there. But um, anyway, when I got to the temple, there was no one at the temple and the celebrations was actually canceled. So um, that kind of me, made me so sad. But um, what made me even sadder, when I checked the website for the brush festivities, um, it just actually stated there that the brush festival may or may not happen depending on the weather but if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that the brush festival did continue because it was a glorious day the next day so um i didn't get to purchase much at the brush festival mainly because i was leaving for greece um the the week after so i couldn't splurge but um i did buy a few pieces now i can't remember if i bought this in the Cuyudo, um uh, factory or if I bought this at the Mizuho um, stall at the brush festival but this is actually made of goat hair and I like how small this is, this is because I could just pack in the powder or maybe I can also use this for applying concealers or you know foundations spot treatments things like that so I'm glad I found this and I also bought um, this small brush from Mizuho, now I could apply powder or highlight powders or finishing powders using this on the tip of the nose. Now, um, I'm not sure if this is made of squirrel or dyed um, goat hair. I think this is made of squirrel. I'm not sure. Because this is sold during the brush festival, so it might have been um, made for another brush company so they don't have it listed on their website the other thing that i also bought from the mizuho um, stall at the brush festival is this small brush again uh, this is made from pine squirrel i don't think you can see it here but some of the hair is actually um distorted that's why they sold it at a much more cheaper price um, but this is actually on their website. So this is a large eyeshadow brush that you can just use to pack on the color or the pigment all over the eye. But for me, I think I'm going to use this to apply um, finishing powders or setting powders to um, concealers and the under eye area. The most wonderful thing happened to me while I was at the Brush Festival. Over lunch, I was able to meet Sonia G. She is uh, Sweet Makeup Temptations on Instagram and on her webpage or, or her blog. So uh, we've been Instagram friends for years and um, she was kind enough to answer my queries 
about the brush festival when I asked her a year ago. Sonia G, by the way, has a wonderful brush range, um, which I haven't tried yet because I couldn't get my hands on them here in the Philippines. But I've heard they're very, very good and they're made in Japan. I'm going to put a link to, in the description box to her um, Instagram page and onto her uh, blog page so that you can see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. The other person that I met also at the Brush Festival was Michelle Wang. I don't know if Michelle is watching this, um, but yeah, I met Michelle and we had such a good time getting to know each other. And you know, right now I've actually been binge watching her videos. On YouTube and she reviews a lot of Lux products so um, if you're into that please go watch her it's very informative I'm sure if you have any um, questions about Lux makeup products um, she can answer those things for you by the way one other thing that I bought when I was in Hiroshima I was walking around town with a good friend of mine and we went to a place called Century 21 and it is a store that sells secondhand stuff kimonos, bags, shoes, all at good quality. And one thing that I purchased there, I saw on a glass display, is the atelier made by Shuemura. So although the box is a bit um, ruined, it doesn't matter. So once I open the box, you'll understand why I had to get it. Um, it's actually a red Ita brush and a lip brush. Now, I tried searching the internet for details about um, this kind of brush from Shui Mora because I've never seen it before. I've seen a regular powder brush from Shui Mora and it's also it has a red bristle but this is the first time that I've seen uh, an Ita brush from Shui Mora. Now if you guys have any idea <laughs> if this is real or not please let me know. I'm not planning to use this for work but um, I'm just gonna add it to my collection. So that's my brush haul collection from my recent trip to Japan. And if you have any questions um, in regards to the type of brushes that I bought, please let me know at the comments below or just send me a DM and I'll reply. I've actually posted a video of me walking around uh, the brush festival. I'm going to put another link on it down below in the description box so that you can see it. And if you have any questions about how to attend the Brush Festival next year, please let me know and I'm going to give you all the information that I've gathered after being there twice. Uh, so thank you to my friends who recommended for me to make this video. I hope this has been helpful and informative. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!